And so hello YouTube and uh, fellow open formers, welcome back. This I think is the 11th video of Boy and Pimple Foam. Okay, the last one was part 10, so this is part 11. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Uh, in the last video, we talked a little bit about uh, boundary conditions and time-varying boundary conditions, specifically time-varying uh, heat flux time varying uh, boundary conditions okay so i've run i've finished running the the simulation and i've uploaded it on github and we can take a look at the log to see how long this thing actually took okay this is without parallel processing it's just a series we take a look it's uh, about nine thousand seconds or just under three hours of uh, execution time uh, the clock time is especially long because i kind of left my laptop you know, asleep overnight, so it kind of stopped calculating. But uh, that's the thing about running in the background, you can do this kind of thing. So what do the uh, results look like? And can we see that it's actually, you know, um, can we see that it's actually, you know, a uh, time varying heat flux? So I've preloaded, I've preloaded the, the, um, the uh, uh, case here. And uh, we are seeing the temperature, okay? So right here is the so-called cold side, which is held at 300 Kelvin. And this side is where we start inputting our heat flux. And of course, the initial temperature is 293 Kelvin. So the, the whole thing is actually 7 degrees C lower than, the, than this wall. So what we're going to see is uh, both sides are going to heat the center up pretty quickly. And after that, um, the right, the left side, which is the hot side, the heat flux coming in, is going to um, push in more of the heat, while this will become a heat sink. All right. So again, if you can see, we want the hot side. The hot side is where the heat flux is going in. This is the hot side. This is the cold side, and then we just want the. You now see everything, eh? So remember the left side here is the heat flux boundary condition and let's play through so you can see okay we can see some convection current going on which is pretty nice and we can see it's pulsating back and forth right can you see the temperatures going up and down up and down up and down so we can play that again all right so you can see uh, the convection currents being set up and then the the temperatures going up and down up and down up and down which uh, is pretty indicative of a time varying heat flux. So all in all, this thing actually works. Um, and yeah, maybe I can use a different scaling. Okay, uh, let's try again. So can we see the, the, the change in the variation of the color as it's going up and down? If we were holding it at a constant heat flux, we would just be steadily increasing in um, temperature. But now we see it bumping up and down. We know that this uh, heat flux condition is kind of working. All right, so let's see whether we can make it even more apparent. We use a custom data range. All right, so maybe go for 305. All right, let's play again. So, okay, see? We can see the we can see it going up and down here, so that's uh, that's uh, indicative of a, a time varying heat flux. So all in all, uh, the case is successful. All right, the case is successful, and uh, we see this uh, convection currents being set up. If you want to take a look at the u, the velocity, uh, the magnitude of it, anyway. So we can see the. Um, velocity magnitude being set up and then there's a convection current um, there's bits of it going up bits of it going down and then we see there's a bit of a wave 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 wavy thing down here because of the oscillations otherwise you'll be stabilizing pretty quickly okay ui okay so you can see there's a convection current being set up okay so you can see the the wavy thing down here which will probably be part of the reason is uh, maybe it's an oscillating boundary condition. So again, uh, on the left side, we see a positive UI means the, the fluid is rising, 
which is the air and then on the light on the right side we see a negative ui which is sinking uh, the air is sinking so all in all this case is working pretty nicely for us so again um yeah do check out my github um all the, all the case files are there along with all the data uh so where are we headed next um basically since we are we are done pretty much with buoyant pimple foam uh, we want to move on to something more um, more interesting so this is called a CHD multi-region foam so uh, let's go let's uh, let's go to the foam tutorials or we can go back all right CD uh, let's see go back open foam and I want to look at tutorials I want to look at heat transfer I want to look at CHD multi-region simple foam so this is the steady state version of uh, CHD multi-region simple foam and uh, I'll stop here because uh, yeah we'll segregate the, the videos nicely otherwise this video is going to be about the boy and pimple foam results and the CHD multi-region simple foam so in the next video we want to take a look at some of the cases and see how they are set up so that we can learn how to set up our own uh, conjugate heat transfer or CHD multi-region case all right so again you'll probably probably lots more debugging but you know um, debugging is good so that we can learn uh, learn more things about how to run the program properly all right so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time and do stay tuned for more open form videos or other engineering videos see ya